I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rock bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b -Nom, the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here bringing you another installation of our gaming commentary segment. We're going into the Minecraft segment today and um, if, let's just open it up right here. I always fail to remember exactly where we're left off in it but you know I'll get reacquainted. So how have you guys been? I've been decent. In terms of channel progress Let's just say there's a lot of ideas that I'm working on which will really be beneficial long term, but you just don't see any results right now. But some of the stuff I don't want to reveal just yet because I know it's stuff that you guys will like that I don't want to kind of put the lid off of yet. But eventually, you guys will see these ideas in practice and you'll know exactly what I meant. <sighs> Anyways, so if I remember correctly, we had just finished building this hole all the way to the bottom. And now... We have to secure a way for us to, um, oh wait, I built a bunch of ladders away. All right, cool. So I built a bunch of ladders basically. So now it is simply just a matter of me, uh, let me just adjust this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had built a bunch of ladders already. So now it is basically a matter of me getting to the bottom safely and then building the ladders all the way back up. Hopefully I'll have enough. Jesus Christ, man. Damn. Okay, maybe I can jump into that water over there. Yes! Okay, I'm a, I'm a fucking... I'm a pro at this shit. Like, this should be my full-time job. Alright, um... Okay, we got us a creeper right next to where we actually are supposed to build the ladder up to. So, if we are crafty enough, I think we can get up there without having to even bother with the creeper. Nope. He sees us. So let us quickly destroy this so this way he can't follow us basically yeah so what are you gonna do now you know you can't really do anything what are you gonna do you can't follow me up here oh shit yeah you can't climb up here but he can explode that close to me though i didn't know that i'm like playing with the devil right now <laughs> okay um all right, let's see. We can, what can we do here? Um, wait, if I kill him in the water, he won't blow up. Well, he blew up, but it didn't do any damage or anything. All right, great. So now we are going to start the long process of building the ladder back up to the top. This should be relatively harmless since, you know, no monsters really can spawn here since I do have the light. So everything should be good. So let us start building. Okay, this should be enough. You know, 51 is a big number. Wait, I missed one. There we go. Imagine how stupid the character model must look like climbing up ladders. Like, I one time saw it when my friend was playing Minecraft, and it's like, dude, you look so freaking dumb right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. And boom, mission complete, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. So now, if I fall down... Not necessarily. Wait, I can't go any faster though. All right, we're going to have to make another way here so we can fall down this thing faster. Because at the end of the day here, this is pretty much meant for quick movement up and down. And if it's not quick, it kind of defeats the purpose of me building this thing in the first place. I should have a shovel for this, but I'm way too out of it to build a shovel right now, so you guys are going to have to deal with me actually putting in physical labor. <laughs> Let me turn this brightness up a little bit. Actually, no, I think it's all right now. Yeah, you guys should be able to see me perfectly fine. Um, okay then, so basically, 
I want to make sure that this thing is easy to fall down, you know? So I want to make it so that I can jump down it and fall a little bit, then maybe grab the ladder last minute. Or, like some of you were suggesting beforehand, put a puddle of water at the bottom so this way I can just jump off freely. Um, I think that's relatively possible. Oh, don't mind me. That, that's my phone. Um, okay, I think this is a pretty good setup that we have here. Let's just put torches where that darkness is as well, because the last thing we want is to come down the mountain one day during the nighttime and be greeted by a fucking horde of monsters. That wouldn't be convenient in the slightest. And bugs are... And dude, speaking of convenience, or rather, that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm about to talk about, but whatever. Speaking of, like, convenience, it is really hot outside, man. Like, I live in New York City, right? I'm not sure if some of you... Do, well, most some of you probably do, but... Um, and here in New York, the weather has just been going up and down lately, and now it's, like, really, really hot, so shit is really bothersome. I gotta have the fan on, and, um, I have the window open and the door open, and normally those aren't conditions that I play under because of the extra noise, but it was a sacrifice I had to make because it is way too damn hot. It is too damn hot! Okay, um, so let's see how well this works. Wait. We first need to make some more iron so we can get to the bottom. Because the thing is, we need to transfer some of that water. So the best way to transfer the water is to look up iron. So we need to start digging for some iron. I guess the best way to do that is to... Um, there we go. Yes. Okay. Because um, the thing is, I'm thinking the best way to... <gasps> I fucking love ladders. Okay, the best way to do that is to... Wait, wait, no, I was going to get torches up there. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm thinking the best way to get iron is um, we might as well just make a cavern digging into the ground where this ladder is. So this way, convenience is there because we can fall down the ladder and then get to the mining level where I'm going to look for that iron and other resources as well. So that should be the main plan, I believe. All we have to do is make some more torches. And booyah, we are ready. Yo, wait, what the f I hate doing that, man. Like, every single time I want to put this shit away, I just throw it on the ground. <laughs> I don't need your handouts. I'm an adult. <laughs> you can't buy me Minecraft. <laughs> okay. All right. So, torch time. Boom. Let's put some. <laughs> of course, that wouldn't work. Okay. Um, let's put one here, because this area just looks creepy as hell. Uh, let's put one here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Shit! Yo! Dude! Damn! Oh, I thought that was a creeper, that green thing! I thought that was a creeper for a minute. I was about to go crazy. Wait, no, no, I shouldn't break that. Damn, okay. Um, let's just continue lighting this area up for now. Shit, man! Fucking suicidal ass creeper! Do they have like a fetish for seeing someone blown to pieces or something? They, they have to. Fucking sexual deviancy, man. You need to get a get it checked out or something. You know, that's a psychiatrist. You need some help, man. All right, let's build a little land bridge here. So this way, we can just have a torch right in the middle of the water. I think that'll be one of the safest things to do because. You never know, monsters can... I don't I don't trust anywhere here, basically, so... I don't want to make a situation where a monster might just pop up out of nowhere. Let's put one in the middle up here. Um, okay, we got to jump. There we go, boom. And now let's put one here. And there, we are totally protected. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, alright, so now we can jump up this. I'm going to leave this like this because it makes it easier for... Um, Wait, no, 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 I need to. Yeah, there we go. That mechanism of getting up to my ladder will make it easier for me to get there without having to worry about monsters being able to follow me. Because if you guys remember, that creeper wasn't able to tail me at all when he was hang um, chilling there. So I think we got a good plan here. But you know what? This also works relatively well because now that that creeper blew up that area that we were just in, we can actually go in there to find that iron that we need. So things work out at the end of the day. Even though that dude is still a suicidal bastard. How much gunpowder did he drop? Oh, three. Oh, okay. Anyways, let us look for Iron. Not coal, no. Iron! Yes, there we go. Alright, 
So um, we're just gonna mine this, we're gonna mine as much as we can. This way we can make us a little water bucket so we can transfer water and make a little bit of a safe passage for when our, uh, you know, when our, um, when we're dropping down from our little mountain home there. I could just build a really in-depth home, but I told you the main goal of this playthrough is to beat the game. And then after we beat the game, maybe then we can focus on creating a nice little house. But for now, I want to make sure that anything I do is relative to beating the game. Because I want to see the Ender Dragon. I want to see all that crazy stuff that happens. I heard a lot about the stuff that happens after you beat the game. And I want to see it for myself using um, first-hand... With the first-hand experience, basically. So um, that's why we're not really focusing on building a house. Sure, I could just do that at the same time, but I think that would waste time. I want to actually progress with beating the game. And it's funny how I talk about wasting... Fuck! Okay. And it's funny how I talk about wasting time when I spent, like, you know, um, God knows how long just trying to find a house. <laughs> oh, God. So it's like I don't focus on a house, yet I'm willing to look far and wide for the perfect one so but then again when i do beat the game I'm, I'm presuming that you can still play the same world that you're in even after you beat the game you just have to um okay that looks really fucking i'm not trusting this one bit like this whole thing here this looks fucked up at the end of the day we're not doing any serious exploring here we're just looking for our own oh i can't lie this shit looks dark as hell like I, I feel like a like a creeper could just be damn how deep does this shit go <laughs> whoa this goes really deep <laughs> that's what he said damn whoa this goes so deep damn what the hell oh shit what am i looking at here yo oh man all right let's just clear this out a little bit because there's snow underground like i don't get this and that apparently that spider wants to fuck my shit. All right. Um Let's let's um let's go a little deeper and see what we can find. But wait. We can't really go deeper cuz I have no protection, so <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> um all right. Instead of going deeper, why don't we just um wind back a little bit? And for once, actually use my brain to figure out a better scenario for this. Because I have a bad habit of getting myself into situations which wind up getting me killed. And then I rage really bad. So let's avoid that altogether this time. Let's go back to the home. Um, put our iron in the stove. Rendezvous and actually think of a plan before we go into a mine. But basically, this looks like my mine right here. This thing looks really interesting. I'm more than willing to... All oh, protection... You know, uh, it's always a good feeling when you got an area fully lit. You can see where monsters are coming from, you know? Like, if there was a bunch of creepers here, at least I could know what path to avoid them by. Rather than just having to... I can't lie, that looks menacing as hell. Because I can just picture a monster falling all the way down. And it could be a creeper, and he just blows up right where he falls past me. But we're not going to be overly negative here. We're just going to do our thing and hope that the path of light is decent enough where we don't have to worry about monsters. Let's put some more torches here, just to be safe. Oh my god, it's snowing! Look at the- oh wow, this is so cool! I was wondering when it was going to start again, because I want to see the whole floor white, you know? Because when the whole floor is white, that basically means that I'll be able to see where every monster is coming from. But, either way guys, um, we're going to end this episode on quite a beautiful note. I want to thank you all once again for tuning in to the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary segment. Leave your suggestions on plans of what I should do in the next episode. I want to know what what do you think is the best plan of action here? You know, what should we do? What should be the focus here? Either way, guys, thanks again, and I will talk to you all later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.